VE5 VV asks, uh, what is the procedure code for a force choke? Procedure code for force choke is 713.62, force choke not otherwise specified without epilepticus. Now, you can do a force choke with epilepticus where you force choke them and they start having a seizure and they and it doesn't stop. And that's a different code because you've got to be careful because you want to upcode it. If you are inducing epilepticus with the force choke, you want to upcode it. Otherwise, you're not going to get the highest HCC hierarchical Medicare code, which means you won't get paid. And that gold land speeder is going to be downgraded to maybe a, a bronze, maybe even a, a molybdenum. Like a molybdenum plated land speeder, let's be completely frank, nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to say there. Now, the other thing about that coding is you got to dial you got to dial in a 99233 three because that's at least a level 3 subsequent visit uh, when you're force choking cuz I don't often force choke on the first visit. I like the patient to come back because it's two billing codes. Then it's the first initial evaluation visit and then a follow up with the procedure because the first one you want to get labs to make sure they're safe to be killed. Because if if you end up with a CBC where, you know, they have hypo uh, they have thrombocytopenia Okay, and you force choke them and they start bleeding, then they've died of a, of a ruptured bleed, and that's a lower billing code. You want them to die directly of the force choke. So you want to clear them for death with the labs, and that's two visits. You see, this is billing 101, people. Didn't teach you this in Dockside Medical School? Because, I mean, I, this I'm good at.